To find the circumference of any circle, by multiplying pi times the circle's diameter, that will tell you what the distance is all the way around that circle. So we are going to substitute pi with the value 3.14 and multiply that by 2.5. So after we multiply these two values together, that will tell us what the distance is all the way around our circle. So starting off with the number 5, 5 times 4 is 20, carry our 2, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7, and 5 times 3 is 15. Now that we are done with this place value, I'm going to write a 0 in that same place value in the next row, and then multiply 2 times 4, which is 8, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 3 is 6. Zero plus zero is zero. Seven plus eight is fifteen. Carry our one. Five, two, and one is a total of eight. And six plus one is seven. Now make sure you put your decimal in the correct place. To figure out where your decimal goes, look at all of the decimals that you have in the original problem. After this decimal, we have two place values. After this decimal, we have one place value. Altogether, we would say we have three place values after all of our decimals. And the same must be true for your answer. So you must place the decimal so you have three place values after the decimal. So the decimal would have to be placed here. So you have one, two, three place values after your decimal. So we would say the circumference of the circle is equal to 7.85. We can drop the zero at the end, meters or 7 and 85 hundredths meters, which is really close to the number 8. So we could also say that the circumference or distance around our circle is a little bit less than 8 meters.